like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. But he ain't get away with it. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Happy Mother's Day. You know I am Vada Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. So make sure you tell your mama, your baby mama. Not like that, but you know. Maybe so, maybe no. Now nah, I'm just playing, man. Let's get to it, man. Easy the Black Captain. Salute to Easy the Black Captain and everything he's got going on. You know what I'm saying? He's re releasing. He re released the revamped version of the trenches card this is the unblocked version the you can't battle over there because of this version uh he's got some updated battles some battles did fall off the card i did I, and what i'm gonna do in this joint because this is gonna be my last time really speaking on it unless something major happens until the recap you know what i'm saying when i spoke on it originally uh i spoke on the battles going down I did speak on when I heard about the turmoil, what was going on behind the scenes, the calls that were being made, the rumors that were going on, trying to get artists off the card, and then I talked about it once. Skirt, nigga started bagging out the driveway. You know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. Um, I'll tell you, from what he had to what he has now, it's a, it's still a pretty solid card. So he's got himself easy to block captain versus Reed Dollars, Rosenberg Raw versus Danny Myers. Enes versus Dot, Real Deal versus Dub the Phenom, and K Walker versus Riggs, right? So you had a uh, Rosenberg Raw versus Swamp fell off the card, Holmesy versus Prep fell off the card, and then um, Truefo versus Danny Myers had fell off the card, you know what I'm saying? And the reason being, it is what it is. URL, they got on the phone, they started making phone calls. You not battling on that card. Boy, I don't want to no see you. Matter of fact, boy. if you battle on boy, that card, no that's way, cool, boy. but you can't come back over here. Because boy, I no spoke way, to boy. Easy when this card was originally put out. He did stress to me the fact that he knew that these artists weren't on contract, he wasn't violating nothing. And I heard, I understood what he was saying. I did, because when I first saw the card, did I tell him? Yes. I was like, I don't think that these all of these battles are going to go down. Why? Because I just knew of the three-fifths compromise they got with a lot of these niggas. I knew it. I was like, bro, uh, they're going to go into overdrive to try to get these battles off the card. I'm thinking, because I've been in this game, I know how these niggas operate, I know when they get dirty, I know dirty shit they've done, I know dirty shit they've done to me. So I know for a fact, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't got no qualms with him. You do what you do. We good. I'm doing great over here. I actually got something in the works. So I'm not even going to be able to make this event. We got something in the works that uh, we've been working on for a long time. And all I'm going to say is just when you see it, you go see it. We, 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 me and Showtime SP, my boy, uh, I'm going to just leave it there. Because, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, let's just keep it moving. Um, So... I uh, <clears throat> I told him I didn't think these battles was gonna go down. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you know, I just see these names, and I'd be looking at the name. I'm like, they could be broke. Well, in my mind, I'm like, they could go get all of these niggas. And then I started hearing rumors and rumblings like, oh, they're going to get them. They're going to get them. So uh, you know, with the new battles, I'll talk about the other stuff in the beginning. At the end, I'll talk about the battles now. I do like Rosenberg Raw versus Danny Myers. Um, that would be a fire battle, but I am a little leery because I don't know if I, I, when that battle happens, I'll believe it's happening. Because after what I just seen with this clean sweep, I'm still a little leery. I hope it happens though. I'm not gonna lie. If it does, it'll be fire. Enes versus Dot, I know that's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? That's probably gonna be the funniest battle in world history. Uh, Enes, Philly. Philly legend, how can I not say that? Uh, shout out to him for stepping in, being able to battle off a three weeks time, uh, you know, but I know Enes is gonna get in his bag. I love what Dot does. Uh, Dot stepped up, you know what I mean? I'm hearing, I'm hearing talks that like MCs that could do it were stepping up. I got a lot of respect for that, stepping up to the plate, like yo, we wanna still make sure this happens, you know what I'm saying? Another person that uh, still made this happen was Real Deal. Uh, shout out to Real Deal. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you don't know, real deal, come on. Like, where can I start or where can I end? 
uh, battle rap, been around forever, man. One of the greats, man. He's he's one of the best. Like he's been here forever. Like he's definitely a definitely solidified name in battle rap. You know about real deal from way back in the days to now through the proven grounds, through some of his big battles, and you know, his joint with Oops was fire too. You know what I'm saying? This is a really respected name in the city of PA. He's gonna get love in Philly, and he's battling against Dub Defino. Dub Defino have been doing his thing for a while too. This is a really, really, really good battle. Uh, if you ask me who I got winning, I do got a real deal. Real deal could dance with like half this card up here. Like <laughs> you, you could never really doubt a real deal battle, especially when he's in his bag. Um, K Walker versus Riggs. Uh, that's another dope battle. Uh, K Walker in Philly right now is is on fire. You know what I'm saying? Like he he's he's getting to shake it with the Battle Academy. So uh, it's gonna be good to see what he'll do against a talent like Riggs, but he's been battling against a lot of folks. But Riggs is nice, you know what I'm saying? I don't think he probably got his fairest of shakes on URL. Uh, I did hear like rumors, you know what I'm saying, rumblings behind the scenes that some of the battles that he wanted, they really didn't feel like he should get. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing that he was offered a battle like at a level of like a rider. He didn't want to do that battle. And then, you know, obviously ride a battle JC. So now it's like, y'all even, but y'all not battling. Why you not battling? And the show goes on. Um, he had, but he's had some good battles. He had a good battle with A Ward, whether you feel like he won or loss, he had a good battle with A Ward. He did battle Geechee, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he did battle, um, he had the other joint too with JC. So, my thing is this, like, and you know, me and Riggs, we, it wasn't always the greatest, but I did hear he ran to my man SP and they spoke, so we good. Like, I don't got no issue with him, you know what I'm saying? But there was a time where, you know, I wasn't rocking with him, he wasn't rocking with me. I do what I do and that's the end of it, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't really be pulling no punches with these niggas. I'm like, yo, you, you a man, I'm a man. I'm not, your opinion about my opinion shouldn't be an opinion. So if you mad at how I feel about something, I don't even know you. So that's how I carry it with a lot of battle rappers. I'm not about to argue with you. I'm not about to not like you. You don't fuck with me. I don't fuck with you. Life goes on. But after, you know, he spoke to SP and I know people around him that, you know, we, we good. Like, I've got no issue. And I could dead it, like, with this nothing. Like, yo, it's nothing for me. Oh, move on to the next battle. Uh, I like him and K Walker, though. K Walker is really nice in Philly. Riggs going to need some shit. Uh, Walker's going to have support, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's going to be one. I got it. 2-1 Walker right now until I see it. I know that will happen. Now, here's the reason why a lot of folks that like niggas have issues with both sides, you know what I'm saying? Like of the whole corn. And, and the card is fire. Like this card, I'm copying this card. I will be recapping it. I will talk about it even from where I'm going to be and the things I got going on. I'm going to make sure that I see it and support it and push it and probably even cop a few pay-per-views for some of the subscribers, you know what I'm saying? We may we may ask a question and go down in the comments, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I'm gonna ask a question right now. I want you to give me your predictions of this card, battle for battle, and why, like, certain battles you think who gonna win. And whoever's comments have, like, the most likes, like, the top two or three, I'm gonna get them to pay per view. That's how we gonna do that. So, yeah, I'm gonna cop a couple pay per views for the people that watch. But let's get back to this, right? So, here's where a lot of people have issues, right? With both sides, with the MCs who backed off the card and with the card itself, you know what I'm saying? With the guys who backed off, it's like this, right? You agreed to do something, obviously you got a call that offered you something great. But my thing is, why wasn't you getting these things before you volunteered to be on? Why do you have to be on a card or volunteer to be on a card to get a bigger card look, to get more money than you've ever made? Like, why do you have to be bought off of these situations? If you're being appreciated and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're supposed to be getting that love anyway. I'm just saying, like why, like it, it almost is like when a nigga cheat on their girl, see like y'all niggas that cheated before, I know, I can see I can see y'all niggas through the screen. When you cheat on your girl, you get caught and you want to stay in the situation, you got to do what? Go buy shit you wasn't buying, spend extra money, get her brakes changed, buy a fucking iPad. You got to do all of this shit that you wasn't doing before when you could have just been doing right. If they was just doing right, they wouldn't even have to do all of this shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these battlers be battling from check to check to check to check. That's why they take all these fucking battles, bro. They be battles who can't even pay the deposit back. Literally, cannot even give it back. They have to literally be like, yo, I gotta wait for my next battle to give you the money back or do this. And it be small change. Small, like, nigga, thousand dollars, 1200, 900. They don't even be having the money to get back. Now, Easy's waiting for bread, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who's what, what, whatever case may be. I don't get into all of that. But he's waiting for his bread back. He, I know he ain't got all his money back yet. He would have said something. Niggas back off and niggas ain't even got the money to give them back. That shit is wild, son. And all niggas do is they burn their bridges because 
if you ever needed him or you ever needed Remy or you ever needed any of those leagues, all these independent leagues are seeing the moves niggas just made. Now, I understand, hey, you do what's right for your career and woo doo woo doo woo but if you know the temperature in the room already, why would you even accept it? Y'all didn't even have to accept them joints. If you knew, if you seen Ab get sat down for months because he took a battle on Chrome 23, allegedly, why would you, why would you go the same way? You know what I'm saying? If you know Easy and URL's relationship wasn't that good, why would you take the battle to begin with? I don't understand. You could have just been like, nah, you know, or asked. I'm sure there's nobody who was on that joint. See, that's the question that don't be that they ain't got the answers. Nobody called and asked URL could they take this battle before they did it. I guarantee you they didn't. Because if they did, they wouldn't be getting moved off of it. Hello? If you would have asked first, can I do this? Yes or no? No. But y'all try to do it, you got the bread, and now nigga waiting for his money back. Like, come on, dog. Like, this shit crazy, man. Like, and I knew, like I said, everybody whose name is up there, no disrespect to any of them, I knew they could be moved. I knew they could. Because they hadn't got to tip, tip, top status yet. I mean, Danny Myers can't, can't really be moved, but I feel like he could be moved. He, you know what I'm saying? He could do what he want, but he could, he could get moved off that journey. You want rock on Summer Madness? They'll fuck around and give him something. Like, they'll give him a battle that they was never going to give him before just to see this shit. Now, that, you know what that does for Easy? It shows his power. It does because they don't do this with a lot of other leagues. There was another league, I think, just a few weeks ago, like Rock Battle, Jay Soldier, and a whole bunch of other niggas up in up north somewhere. And there was a bunch of battles up there. They had every URL battle in the world was on there. Twerk was on there, Casey J was on there, Danny was on there. You know, Danny's on every motherfucking car. But they ain't, it ain't bad an eye at that. You know why? Because it's not easy to block at. So, now, I, you know what, it's some lessons to be learned in this though. You know, uh, Easy, shout out to you for staying true to what you was doing, continuing to pursue it and making the event still happen with a pretty reputable card here. Um, and continuing to look, be focused, because you gotta write too. Now you gotta write bars, you know what I'm saying? You gotta write, you gotta do this, you gotta run this event, you gotta do all of this shit at the same time you learning in real time how much work it actually takes to be in a league or ahead of a league and shit, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you for that. Shout out, a real super shout out for all the MCs that stepped up and jumped on the card at the last minute, you know what I'm saying? Like a real deal and all these people with names are coming up here eating asses and dots, still trying to, you know, make sure that this event goes down, you know what I'm saying? Now for easy in the future, you just know the type of MCs that you're gonna have to book, you know what I'm saying? Like you really, honestly, you really can't get nobody that could get got, you know what I'm saying? When I say got, it's the time a phone call gets put in and then they offer him something, they gonna back down. See a nigga like Riggs, this is the reason why I respect Riggs. Riggs knew that he was not gonna be offered no favors. You know what I'm saying? You could tell, like I could tell by his demeanor that he's not getting offered no big names to get off this card because we fuck with your talent. You know what I'm saying? It's because we wanna do this to him, so we want to get you to, to help us do it. And he's and the type of nigga that he is, <laughs> I ain't never had a conversation with a nigga one day in my life, but I know the type of nigga he is that he's not gonna be used as a pawn. You know what I'm saying? By niggas who's just doing messy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie. It's just, you just trying to fuck up a nigga business. And, you know, in some ways, that's regarded as that some hoe ass shit. But, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the niggas' league. It's their business. They can do what they do. And lastly, I know people was asking, like, but they're not on contract. Why would they make a voodoo? -voo? Bro, you don't need paperwork to make it work, my nigga. You do not need paperwork to make it work. When niggas start telling you you can't come back on URL, you're not gonna be on no cards, hey, if you show up, you're gonna have to pay to get in, they not gonna risk all of that. All, all of the niggas is not gonna risk all of that. They not, they're not gonna risk it. They're gonna be like, you know what, cool, I'm good. Take me off, you know what I'm saying? And I can't say what anybody would have done, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a battle rapper, so I couldn't tell you what the situation was. It looked crazy, but at the end of the day, them niggas could be moved, you know what I'm saying? Like, get off, they could be moved, they got moved. It is what it is. Now easy, you see what type of target you are. They want you gone. They want you eliminated and will go to wit's length to make that shit happen. I didn't talk about this situation when it first started cause you know, I, I'm cool with Easy. like I fuck with Easy. you know what I'm saying? Like I rock with him, I seen him coming up, I covered a lot of his battles, I got a lot of respect for what he does and my relationship with him is not gonna have me jump out the window when some shit first happened. Like, oh, boo, boo, boo. I'll ask you, yo, what's up? What's this about? And that's doing journalistic. I do that shit with a lot of people where I could just talk about a subject and bam, you know what I'm saying? I can easily do that. But no, I reach out. I get the information first. So when I'm talking about it, I know what I'm talking about. I'm not just, I don't like just jumping on here 
and talking about some shit I don't know about. So, you know, when I seen what was happening, I let him know, yo, this the Blitz, man. <laughs> they trying to get this shit up out of here, but he stayed true with it. He still has Reed, you know, and Reed, Reed, where the fuck Reed been? Reed was supposed to battle on RBE, and they put these situations together for him, and this nigga just disappeared. Like, where the hell you been? So, uh, it's gonna be a lot to see from you, too, but, uh, you know, uh, I guess the final thing is like, yo, y'all niggas owe that nigga bread, man. Get that nigga his money back, bro. Like, that shit is crazy. Like, what? Like, nigga, you couldn't do the battle and you ain't got the money to give him back? Oh, no, no, no. You got to cover that tab. You got to cover that tab to whoever. I don't know who, what, when, where, but cover the motherfucking tab. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Brother Matt. You already know what it is, man. Salute to Easy. The trenches is going down. The re the unblocked card. It is. This is the unblocked card. You know what I'm saying? The hook shot card. No blockage on this one. So salute to uh, all the subscribers. That notification gang. Thanks for watching the content. Happy Mother's Day to all of y'all. I'm out of here to go hang with my mama. <laughs>